Bugle Boys is the last piece in the lesson book, and it's not as hard as some of the other things that we've played, especially in the performance book, but there's still some tricky parts with it. So let's look at it. In the first line, this part really isn't that hard. It's just the left hand playing these two notes together in a rhythm that we've already seen. And here's a review of those quarter rests that we've talked about in the past. When you get down to the second line, this is where things get a little bit trickier because you're going to be playing these two notes in the left hand and this note in the right hand all at the same time. And then your left hand has to continue to hold this while your right hand continues to play this. And so you have your hands doing two different things at the same time. When you get over to the second page, it's basically just a repeat of that other line with the exception of this measure. So your, your hands are going to take turns playing right hand first and then left hand and then back to right hand. When you get down to this last line, this is the ending and it says play three times, gradually getting softer and they want you to move your left hand down each time you do a repeat. So you're going to end up way down on the keyboard, but it'll be really good practice for your left hand to find some different C positions down there. And so now let's go to the keyboard and play it on the keyboard. And now let's go to the keyboard and play it on the keyboard. When we get to the last line, I am not going to do the repeat. I'm only going to play it once. And the other thing is I forgot to mention that in measures five and six, the left hand plays this and then it's tied to the next whole note. So you are going to hold that in the left hand for eight beats instead of replaying it in measures six and eight. So here is what it's going to sound like. First of all, we have to find the C position and then it's going to be like this. you would go on and do the repeat. 